let me just go back here. So you, you had it listed, didn't sell. Was the feedback from your previous um, people through, was it that the kitchen was like a major negative point? Yes. Pause, pause. I want to ask you, Benji, why are you asking this question? I'm trying to get to the main pain, even though I probably already found it. <laughs> I think you found it. Our role play group is made up of agents and ISAs from across the country who are working on staying on the phone, overcoming objections, setting more appointments, and getting more yeses. If you'd like to set more appointments and get more yeses, click the link below and join us. Good. All right. So who wants to be the first lead or first agent? Let's put it that way. Who's first agent? Come on. We don't have all day. One of you. Raise your hand. Talking to you. I'll do it. Benji. Benji was first. All right. So Benji, Amy's going to be your lead. Okay. All right, Benji. So you are calling. We'll just make it. I mean, I know you guys can't. You guys don't call expireds up there, right? I do. Well, he's Canadian. Benji's Canadian. Yeah. You guys don't call expireds, right? That's, that's fine. I would call, right. I mean, in my own business, I would call and see if people had uh, come off the market for more than 90. It's 90 days, though, so it's a long process. Okay, go ahead. So it's 90 days. And the objection that we're working on today is uh, we're not really going to do anything until after the holidays. Okay? okay. All right, so Benji, you're going to say ring, ring. Okay, ring, ring. Hello. Hi, Miss. Nice with Amy, please. This is Amy. Hey, Amy, I, uh, I was just going through and I saw that your house uh, had expired there a few months ago and um, came off the market without selling. I was wondering if you still have planned on selling it all this year. Um, all right. Who are you? It's Benji Hillman with EXP Realty. Oh, hey, Benji. How are you? Thanks for calling. I, yeah, I am. Um, we, we did. We listed. We were thinking if we could... Um, you know, sell before the school year started, that'd be great, but uh, it didn't happen. And so we've decided to stay where we are and just renovate the kitchen. Good. Oh, that's, all, that's always fun. Um, <laughs> how's the renovation going so far? Have you guys started? We have not. Um, <laughs> it's bigger than I thought it was. Um, it definitely needs to be done. I think if we do it now, uh, even if we were to relist next year, we would probably get our money and then some. So probably a good good way to go in the end no oh, people do love kitchens and bathrooms that's for sure uh so so you've you've taken it off the market uh you're gonna now renovate your kitchen mm -hmm. and then what uh so what's your timeline then after to get your kitchen completed are you hoping to have it done before the holidays yes we are um we're hoping to have it done on the holiday before the holidays have a great christmas and then um maybe put it on in the spring so we'll be moved for the next school year so you'll be moved for the next school year. Well, that's fantastic. I think it sounds like you've got a pretty good timeline. If so, where about are you moving? Um, we're not sure. Uh, we would like to stay relatively close, good school system, uh, maybe a bigger house, lower taxes, even if it's a little further out. If you like the kind of coaching you're getting here, you want to get more coaching in your business, just click the link below and schedule a call with us. Okay. So you're trying to maybe... Um, find like a little bit more affordable place to live but are you upsizing downsizing probably upsizing probably upsizing oh nice is your family growing or no i think um we sort of our house is sort of oddly laid out um where we'd like a little bit better flow okay so you're looking for a change essentially yeah uh, you're trying to put a little so by doing the kitchen do you um do you think you're then maybe just adding a little bit of value to your home then Yes, uh, a lot of value, hopefully. A lot of value. Okay, is your kitchen quite dated at this time? Super dated. Okay, okay, so let me just go back here. So you, you had it listed, didn't sell. Was the feedback from your previous um, people through, was it that the kitchen was like a major negative point? Yes. Pause, pause. I want to ask you, Benji, why are you asking this question? I'm trying to get to the main pain, even though I probably already found it. <laughs> I think you found it. I think, yeah. I mean, she doesn't have a whole lot of pain. No. Um, and honestly, the pain uh, would be not relative to the kitchen. Um, but here are the facts, right? She's renovating her kitchen. Presumably, it's already torn apart and they're working on it. She's going to get it done just in time for the holidays. And she's anticipating listing this property in the spring. Mm -hmm. So I believe that the key, I, one, I don't know that you're going to be able to get her to do this any sooner. Mm -hmm. But you could ask. 
-hmm. Two, I think that you need to focus on what her plans are in the spring. Does she have an agent? Who will she be using? When will she get the process started? When does she want to be moved out by? That's yeah. what I think you need to, that's where I think you need to focus your conversation. And one thing I want to bring attention to for all of you guys is that with a few exceptions, most people, when they are talking to a strange salesperson over the phone, have a limited window that they're going to talk to you. Okay. They're going to get fatigued quickly, right? With a conversation. So that's why I want you guys to be as purposeful with your conversations as possible. And that's why I stopped you, Benji, because I don't see the benefit of what you're doing right now. And your clock is ticking. Although here in the role play, she'll probably entertain you for a long time. Mm -hmm. In the real world, she's not going to, this particular no. person that we're talking to isn't going to entertain you that long. No. Yeah. Okay. So let's get more pointed, Benji. Focus on moving the conversation forward. And I don't know that what happened previously is entirely relevant unless she brings it up to you. If you like what you're seeing here and you know you can take your business to new heights and you just don't know how to get there, click the link below and schedule a call with us.